but I think it's been a long while. Yeah, like the whole of last year, did we meet? No, I don't think. So. Yeah, no. Wow. <laughs> Where were you hiding? Where were you hiding? Because me and you, at least every year, we meet like twice or so to do our things. <laughs> not on radio, I mean, we don't meet any other. Oh. Last year. Uh, are you sure it's last year? Uh, that's why we are asking. That's what. Well, that's why I'm asking that whether we met last year. So where where were you hiding? If we never met, where were you hiding? Oh no, I've been around. Mm-hmm. I've been in Ghana. I was just at home. Mm. I've been inside. <laughs> <laughs> you, you decided to take a break from music. Um, not a break, but um, COVID came anyway, so it stopped a lot of things, and so I just took the time to um, you know, work on myself. Mm. Yeah. Meanwhile, there was COVID, but still your colleagues were releasing. Mm-hmm. Yeah, most of them took advantage of even the situation, knowing that people are at home. They mm-hmm. gave us small songs. Yeah. Uh-huh. So in your situation, you decided not to at all. Um, I just felt like I rather just come with a good song, like a big song, rather than just to keep releasing songs and then mm-hmm. trying to figure out which one is good. Mm-hmm. And I feel like me taking my time and having it the way I want to and everything would make me feel good. So that's why I just took my time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Were you busy with? electioneering campaign uh not really (laughs) (laughs) because i I know you were helping mom for Mm -hmm. the constituency she won Mm -hmm. what was uh, your actual role what what did you actually do um i don't know i think (laughs) i made people like her i guess or like um and then i went over there and i went there with chatawale as well Mm -hmm. when i was getting close to the end of the campaign Mm -hmm. and we were just there and we spent like two days there and just like with the people there mm. to help her so, yeah. so c- can we say that um fantana's inclusion in the campaign also helped in your mom winning the jomoro constituency uh yeah i tell her all the time oh <laughs> <laughs> yeah you tell her all the time mm. that you contributed yeah. in her winning so what does it mean you, you've taken your cut already <laughs> not yet but i have told her you've taken your cut of the s grasher in advance <laughs> <laughs> you, you, could you have done it alone for instance you are also an artist an established mm-hmm. name could you have done it there without shatawale's inclusion um yeah i've been there without him multiple times like because that's where my mom was raised so i just go there to visit my family members so whenever i'm there then the people are happy to see me so him coming also made it very mm. yeah, so nice. those times when you were going there alone were you performing because when shatter came he mm. performed i guess yeah he performed no i just spent most of the time like um helping out with stuff where i would go to like the hospital because there's only one hospital there so when there's time i would go there and help out with the stuff and like help out with the town stuff and everything yeah. but you didn't perform until no. came. <laughs> i didn't perform even when he came either. oh even when shatter came did not perform but i saw you uh, with um, him uh, on, yeah. on the vehicle you guys were still in yeah. town you did that one but did not perform why <laughs> because i wasn't ready <laughs> <laughs> because you are also an artist you have some song and the stage mm. was prepared yeah mm. <laughs> the stage was prepared that mm-hmm. some of us would want to see you there yeah. you decided not to why what, what really was the advice oh nothing i just didn't want to i was tired and then it was like a long drive and everything and he didn't know he was gonna perform either i think it was like a surprise thing and then mm-hmm. when he got there then he just went ahead and did it mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. in the near future are you also likely to contest that seat since now your mom has it maybe she'll be able to have it in the next one or two election yeah. uh, calendar are you also thinking that one day you wake up and say after mom or maybe mm-hmm. after some time mm-hmm. you're also going for the seat uh yeah i thought about it so, mm-hmm. a few times mm-hmm. not now though but like maybe like second third <laughs> 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 Uh, so you, you think one day you go for it yeah yeah one day i could go for it mm, are you are you preparing yourself are you learning uh, what what are you doing so that you get prepared for that day um i go with her to like when she's going to uh, what it's sorry the constituency yeah constituency mm-hmm. in the par- parliament house mm-hmm. and stuff yeah to her office mm-hmm. and she teaches she shows me different things and she introduces me to like the other mps and stuff over there and i mm-hmm. just learn different things from them so mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. i see in the near future should mom advise that because of maybe the career she has started uh drop music to support her administratively since you have the skill and the know-how would you do that yeah of course i would do it you drop music Per, like to support my mom uh-huh. yeah of course, of course. oh <laughs> <laughs> then really you mean this political thing <laughs> just for her 
just for her. Yeah, just for uh, her. And when she is out of the scene, you are not going for it anymore. <laughs> <laughs> but that's also a dangerous thing to do. Yeah. <laughs> it means you are giving y- your fans, you are not giving us that assurance mm. that oh, we should we should follow you with all the heart. No, time. you should follow me without the heart time. Yeah. <laughs> but one day you just wake up and break our heart that you are going to do politics. You know? Oh no, no, not anytime soon. It's, <laughs> it's not going to be anytime soon. Yeah. But it is likely to happen one day. Yeah, very far away <laughs> one day. <laughs> we are interested. We are following it up. Yeah. And again, at a point, you introduced something you called what, Skin by Fantana or so. Mm. Um, is it on the market already or it is yet to appear? Um, it's yet to appear on the market, but it's skin, my um, skincare line that I started during the COVID period. Yeah. Mm-hmm. 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 As in your own company? Yeah, my own company. Yeah. So it's registered skin by fantana yeah you've registered it or yet to no i registered it and is the product out of the market um it was but everything sold out and i haven't brought any more back yet no. oh, so you started selling yeah yes, I've already but started. it is on hold now yeah why what is happening i'm not you know like you, when it sells out you have to like restock and everything but mm-hmm. now i had to i'm back doing my music so i'm trying to mm. yeah mm-hmm. music is making you so busy <laughs> keeping you so busy so you're not getting mm-hmm. okay so you started it mm-hmm. looking at what you've also done in music the investment in music and the investment in the skin by fantana which one was bringing in huge revenue or big revenue oh i mean but like <laughs> but but i mean the skincare thing is a business so regardless people will buy it so it always comes so even if i restock it now and it sells out i have to keep restocking it so mm, yeah mm, mm. and where ladies especially celebrities where they also coming in to support because if it is a business of another celebrity i expect them to come in to support when, yeah. who came around to support you among your <laughs> friends in the music fraternity oh in the um <laughs> because i know most of your friends they have a skin like you have mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so who came around to support the project i don't i don't know i don't i don't think it, i don't know unless maybe like you know when you're ordering it you don't have to use your name to order it so i don't know if maybe they ordered it through someone else or something but mm. not directly to me no mm. so, so what does it make you feel that you start something and your colleagues are not showing support what does it make you feel no i don't really care Mm-hmm. yeah i don't care. i don't care there's, there's a lot of people in this world so mm-hmm. other people will buy it at the end uh-huh. of the day yeah uh-huh. oh not even just buying it alone maybe but supporting, supporting it, it yeah, in terms yeah, of publicity yeah, yeah. just right, as right. they've been doing for other products they could also do it for skin by fantana yeah. and and personally i did not see anybody doing that's why i'm asking mm-hmm. or is it because you are not friends with them no i'm cool with them but for me like it's just biz- like business if you want to buy it buy it if you don't want to then Mm. yeah but were you also having plans to at least get some one or two people on board to come support the project because looking around i know there are more fair skin ladies in our music space in our movie space that you could have maybe called um mm. the uh, benedicta gaffa and co you could have invited all of them to be part of yeah. did you extend an invitation to them as well no i will because i started it like i was testing to see like how it would go and it went well so now like i will do everything and put more into it because when i first started i was just doing it to see like okay i have nothing to do during the COVID period so let me just try something and see how yeah Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay so we are waiting for it (laughs) let it come and you know what to do still let's go back into time still on fantana um at a point you also decided to go help children um should i call them children when your issue happened at the on the stage i think that one performance you had some wardrobe malfunction. she decided to do some part donation that you said you would continue are you still doing it or it's or it's also on hold oh no <laughs> <laughs> that one was just like uh some like i went to a town that was a bit outside of accra i think mm-hmm. where they can't really get pads and stuff and so because that incident happened then um i got um invited to come over there mm-hmm. to speak mm-hmm. with them and everything mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and then we donated like a lot of pads but it's something that i would want to start maybe like an ngo type of thing that i would want to mm-hmm. start with my name and everything like mm-hmm. yeah in the future okay so for now after the first one you've not done any again yeah but it is something you'd want to do yeah as an ngo in your name yeah fantana how would you call it (laughs) i don't know yet (laughs) (laughs) the usual fantana foundation (laughs) or the ff (laughs) 
Are you going to do the usual way, the Fantana Foundation? Or maybe yeah. you are going I'll to find a different name. You'll find a yeah. different name. Oh, I see. <laughs> I, I, I want you to do more of that because yeah. I, I loved that idea when I saw it. And again, there was an organization that supported you then, I guess. Yes. Uh, why have you cut ties with them? Are oh, you... no, no. Whenever they do stuff or whenever those things are going on and maybe I can be involved in it, they reach out to me. So mm-hmm. they, they do a lot of different things. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, now which record label I is Fantana on? Now that your comeback is real, which record label is Fantana working with now? None. I'm independent. Okay. I'm an independent artist, so I'm not signed to anyone. Okay, so yeah. where, for instance, when you go on to YouTube, uh, it is going to be Fantana Music, I guess. Yeah, just Fantana. Just Fantana. Yeah. And uh, you have all your old videos there? No, so all my old videos are still on uh, Town. Rough Town, yeah, but anything that I release ongoing mm-hmm. is under my youtube channel yeah. from henceforth anytime, yeah, from henceforth, yeah. anytime you release something we will find it under fantana, fantana. Yeah. so what happens to royalties of the old videos oh like we of course we have an agreement and everything like when you're terminating you have agreements and how you're going to share everything and stuff like that so we're mm-hmm. fine on that mm-hmm. yeah. so if you've been receiving your fair share yeah all of us are <laughs> <laughs> calculation is going down yeah. the way you want <laughs> Sometimes I listen to you, your songs, <coughs> you use more patois, patois in your composition. And I ask myself, um, is Fantana doing dance hall? What really is Fantana doing in terms <laughs> of uh, her composition and the genre that she would want to be recognized with? Um, so I'll say when I first started, I think I was trying every different type of sound. So like Afro B or maybe like Afro dance on everything. But I'm more of an Afro dance hall person. So I'm just going to stick to doing that. I feel like that's where I'm better off at. And it's not like I don't I don't have competition with anybody or anything. And I have peace of mind to just, you know, mm. do what I want to do. Mm. Yeah. So now we should categorize you under Afro dance hall. Yeah, Afro dance hall. Yeah. Oh, I see. <laughs> <laughs> are we about to listen to the new one <laughs> and i'm sure to confirm that and again when you were at rough town you used to be uh supported by bullets in terms of composition so <clears throat> do you have another person doing that now yeah so my manager too Raz, he actually already started writing songs for me while i was still on rough town mm-hmm. so he wrote um rich girl anthem new african lady backstabber and he also wrote the new one oh so now Turas is in that position yeah i see <laughs> he's a bad man yeah. <laughs> no no darling i i i saw the title i said oh yeah. could it be that i didn't know there was another no darling song in the system or what because there is another no darling song in the system by keche did you yeah. know about it yeah i like that song it's very nice but i also didn't want to change the title of my song oh, so i just okay. kept it yeah oh, oh so you knew about it yeah yeah their song is really really nice yeah but i didn't mm. want to change my title. <laughs> <laughs> so we have to share because that was the only option left or what no that's just what i felt like i wanted that like it stood out with the song and what the song is about and the content mm-hmm. and i didn't want to change it so mm-hmm. i just kept it D- did you get your title before their song or you got it after their song um i don't know because i don't know when they recorded theirs but i know when i recorded mine so i would say like i recorded it months ago actually mm-hmm. and it was named that but mm-hmm. i don't know how long they had theirs mm. yeah. and, and ever since it came out have you gotten some one or two confrontations maybe from fans or from artists talking about oh there is a no darling which is hot in the system and fantana is also bringing another no darling any confrontation like that um no people don't really confront me people don't confront me. they don't confront yeah. you including men because that other you said <laughs> men were even scared <laughs> you said men were even scared to confront mm. oh now the story has changed oh no they're still scared they're just there i don't know oh, oh, <laughs> i'm, I'm oh, nice uh, Maybe, maybe Fantana, maybe you have to reduce the packaging some more. Maybe the packaging is so huge. That's why, that's why the guys are running out. <laughs> but why, why do you think it is hard for men, especially? Let's talk about, let's ignore the fans not confronting you. Why is it so difficult for men to, con- why do you think it's so difficult for men to confront you? Uh, I don't know. Maybe my, like, my attitude is very, like, sassy. I don't know. So, like. Mm-hmm. You know, man, like if they say one, they don't want you to say two, but mm-hmm. I'm going to say two. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. it's going to go back and forth. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So do, do you like that? Uh-huh. Or you wish it, was, it wasn't like that? Um, It's cool that it saves me time from people talking to me for no reason. And then the people that can't talk to me, then that means it's worth talking to them because, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but every 
lady every lady would want to be appreciated every lady would want oh i went there and i saw guys were showing interest in me it mm-hmm. gives them some confidence of a sort and in your case that no one is coming because maybe they are scared of something that's oh, but i know that they like me like for me you don't have to tell me that you're interested i know you're interested how do you know because who wouldn't like me <laughs> <laughs> how do you know everyone likes me who wouldn't like me mm. <laughs> uh, that one that one you can't be so sure or is it, is it because they look at you so that that is to you your conclusion of they liking you um no but i mean like if you're looking at someone i just know i just know yeah mm, mm, or even mm. if you don't like me at least you know that i'm beautiful so it's yeah, like, yeah no yeah. for beautiful i'm not sure someone can even contest yeah. it you are so beautiful <laughs> the guy in your new video who is he oh he's a model mm-hmm. he lives in ghana but he's not ghanaian he's from guinea i think yeah he's from guinea yeah um was everything okay during the shoot yeah <laughs> yeah he was really shy that's yeah. what i'm about to talk about he that's was what very I'm about shy to talk about. <laughs> why was he shy i don't know see it's me i'm telling you <laughs> hey fatana that it would be very difficult for you to get a boyfriend though <laughs> or, or you have one package already oh, no. You don't have one package already. Yeah, but for, no, I don't have one. And now the guys are also scared to come forward. Mm-hmm. And you are you also double as a celebrity. <laughs> and yeah, bet you. Mm. But it's your mom now requesting that Fantana, you are of age. When are you introducing your boyfriend to me or something? <laughs> is your mom not asking? Uh yeah, she asked, but I mean I tell her to relax. Just chill. You told her to relax. Yeah. Soon. Oh, <laughs> And why was why, why was the model shy? Because personally, yes, I watched the video yeah. and I saw it, I saw it clearly. That's why I asked you, was everything okay on? Set? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He why was, was he shy? I don't know. He was really, really shy. Like he was scared. I don't know why though. He didn't know you. Was that was that the first time? He yeah, that was the first time he yeah. heard about Brand Fantana. That was the first time he ever saw me in person. Yeah. But he knew. But about, he knew. Yeah. But why did you also not give him more confidence? Like I did. You tell know? him that oh bring your hand, hug me, touch me. Everyone was telling him to, but he was just shy. Yeah. Okay. Next time, next time, please look for another guy. Yeah. <laughs> look for one of the Ghanaian models. Mm, that are not shy. Yeah. They they won't be shy. They will surely <laughs> come forward. And the first time we met. You also talked about your cooking abilities not being very on point therefore you'd want a guy who could cook for you and all that i know it has been some good years after <laughs> the first time has it improved has your cooking skills improved now yeah they have they have so now what can you do perfectly like what kind of food or meal can you pe- can you <laughs> prepare perfectly um it depends on what i feel like eating uh-huh yeah i can make a stew uh-huh yeah i can boil <laughs> Oh, eggs, every, and I can that. make stew and I can make rice. You can make rice. Wow. <laughs> 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 Who helped you? Who helped you in uh, polishing your cooking skills? Oh well, during like the lockdown and stuff, like I couldn't really like go out, so I had to I had to force myself to um, yeah. learn how to cook. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. So, so it happened during the lockdown. Yes, yes. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> well, but when you started, were you loving yourself? What you were cooking? What you were preparing? No. You were not liking it. <laughs> so once you were out a little bit, what did you observe? What observation did you make out of our industry? Um, it was just dull. You thought the industry was dull, eh? Yeah, it was so quiet and stuff. Mm-hmm. Nothing was really like going on. So I was mm-hmm. just like, yeah, I was like, okay, <laughs> I'm gonna take my time then. <laughs> nothing is going on. <laughs> oh, okay. So because you felt that the industry was dull, there was mm-hmm. not even pressure on you to. Yeah, like, I just felt like there wasn't pressure since it's dull. Mm-hmm. When I'm ready to release, then I'll just release and. <laughs> mm, and yeah. now is the time. Yeah. How about performance? Have you also learned more performance? Mm-hmm. yeah so i also took that time out too to um you know get over my shyness and my fear and stuff because i felt like the fear i had was overshadowing uh, my talent mm-hmm. it was holding mm-hmm. me back from mm-hmm. doing mm-hmm. like all the things i know i can do so i would say now my confidence is like mm-hmm. yeah Off the roof. yeah so, so practically what were you doing how <clears throat> did you learn practically what were you doing because i know some people they tell me oh they stand in front of the mirror yeah. they perform they shout how were you also doing it i yeah, wish that's to know. the best way Mm-hmm. like you just stand in front of your mirror and you jump and you shout and you just let everything out yeah <laughs> how long did you do that 
Oh, I mean, I kind of I do it every day, you know. But like maybe for like 30 minutes or 20 minutes, I'll just play different songs over and over. Mm -hmm. Asking your songs. Yeah, my songs, and then maybe like other dancehall songs, like other oh. artists, mm -hmm. bigger artists in Jamaica and stuff. Mm -hmm. I like to listen to them to also, you know, mm. learn different things. And, and, and after that, who marks you? After doing all that, who marks you to say, okay, today <laughs> I did 50 percent. Yesterday I did 20 percent. Who marks you? Myself. Oh, yeah. then I'm sure you'll be giving yourself higher marks. No, no, I, I criticize myself a lot, so yeah. <laughs> Ray is comfortably patient. Yeah. Uh, question contribution to Fantana. Yeah, I just have one question. I just want to mm -hmm. uh, ask Do you have like, do you have friends in the industry? Yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm cool. Yeah, I'm nice to everyone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I don't like hang out. Okay, I'm close with Effia. Okay. Yeah, I hang out with her outside of music, mm -hmm. but she lives like five minutes away from me, so we're very close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. I, th I think I like the answer because yeah. ice is cool, but not everybody likes ice. Mm -hmm. <laughs> 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 yeah. Yeah. Well, actually, that's all I wanted to ask. Yeah. So I'll let my brothers do the rest. Okay. So, wh what do you want her to do? Do you want her to have friends, or you don't want her to? I think if she does the cheating won't be a problem because uh -huh. when you have uh, okay uh, not really to have musicians as your friends but mm. people who know about what you're doing and mm. has that mind say mm. okay mm. this is the reason mm. but we actually make kind of more mm. to really help her do the job she mm. wants to do mm. so that was my whole thing about okay. it okay yeah. perfectly said let me move on to kobe che kobe che question contribution to fantana mm. yeah. yeah so two questions I, I saw her trending uh, a few days ago, uh, Fantana trending, so mm -hmm. I decided to check it out. So, and so I noticed that she had dropped a new song, okay. so I sat down mm -hmm. to listen to it. Mm -hmm. And um, I like the, I mean, where you were going back and forth with her in regards to her voice ranges, mm -hmm. because she, she has this the tone, like down tone voice, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. this song, she yeah. was trying to go a bit. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I wanted to ask, what key did you sing on this particular one? Mm -hmm. uh, what key, you know, honestly, I when I was in the thing, like mm -hmm. I sang it low at first, yeah, and then I backed it. So when I was backing it, I just sang really high mm -hmm. over, and it came mm -hmm. out nice. So I don't know, I don't even know what I, I just did it, and then I was like, okay, yeah, yeah. But I think it's higher than C. I usually sing on C, like because my voice is deep. So okay. I think I was a bit above that. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So who produced the song? Uh, Mix Master Garzi. Master Garzi. Yeah. Okay, so uh, I'll advise that when artists enter the studio and they are making the song, they should try and educate them in regards to their key ranges. Let them know what mm. they are singing. Because mm. this particular one, like I said, very high, A flat major. Mm -hmm. And so if you go, if you're an artist mm -hmm. and you move to the yeah, studio, I, I, I think that it should be established. You should know mm -hmm. the key that you are working mm. on. Because mm. mm. if you're an artist and I ask you what key did you sing mm -hmm. in your own song, mm -hmm. and you tell me you don't know, that is a big embarrassment. Mm. Because mm. you're a musician, you need to know mm. the key you are singing. Mm. And it will help you. I mean, imagine if you're going to perform uh, on a TV or like a live band, mm -hmm. and you meet the band. You're supposed to tell them, okay, so I recorded this song yeah. in this key. So I think that if you guys play this particular key it will yeah, help you okay. so that it will save you from certain brothers we've seen mm -hmm. artists mm -hmm. who anytime mm -hmm. they are playing with live band i mean they get confused with their live um, mm -hmm. um stage mm -hmm. and all that mm -hmm. again what are you also doing to build your fan base mm -hmm. what are the steps what are you doing as fantana to build your fan base uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, i don't know <laughs> Uh, what, what, what was your question for what was your question for uh -huh. she's doing the music huh? what is she doing to it's build an organic fan base to have okay. a fan base for herself okay it's actually it's actually connected to oh, okay. a statement someone also posted here um one 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 michael king ashes i'm sure that is um yeah oh, your grace oh. featured artist he says she's such a darling oh, yeah. But she should try and interact with her fans more on social media. E exactly. Uh -huh. I do. <laughs> <laughs> Some of them miss it. <laughs> hey. uh -huh. so, yes. So you I think, think she's that, not interacting. Yes. Huh? The engagement is low. Uh -huh. And anytime you hear from time, that is when I mean, or the new mother. So we find on question when you feel so true, you Okay, Okay, Betty. What is true? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so my point is that uh -huh. don't always wait mm. 
to release record before you interact with your fan base mm. it should be like a deliberate attempt to engage your fans so that even when you're not releasing yeah i mean your fans will always go back and forth also i mean talk about it to, to protect you yeah. i mean your brand and all that but please it should be a conscious effort to build a solid fan base for yourself mm. thank you mr chi and then mesa chatobe take over let's continue mm-hmm. all right um I think this uh prior to you asking that question about which of the questions uh no trying to know the kind of jenna uh-huh, i was uh-huh. about to tell her mm-hmm. after listening and watching some of her songs i i felt within me that it will be better she she does the dance or th- thing because i see her comfortable there mm-hmm. and i can see she can break a lot of grounds with that and i wasn't surprised when she gave the answer that she tilted towards afro, afro, afro danso yeah so for me i think that is her her strong point mm. and mm. she should hit there well and it can work out for him and with, with, with regards to the engagement i think she needs it very very well because when she came fontana she came with some verve then all of a sudden it's like she was going on a slow pace she curled back and it's like he quench, she quenched that verve mm. and we want it back you know she 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 has that natural attraction to the fans so if she keeps the fire i think it can work for her when you ask her about dropping the song she was saying that because of the covid and other things and uh she doesn't she's a person who doesn't like just dropping a song but i think he needs to she needs to change the 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 dynamics because as a new artist you need a lot of songs you need a lot of repertoire like if she had a lot in the repertoire i think within that time she could have organized her own virtual concert Mm. and play a lot of song do a lot of live performance so as a young burden artist clearly you need the songs so don't slow uh, slow like mm-hmm. maybe an artist who has been there for a decade who who you know release as and when mm-hmm. you need to release because you need that coming. repertoire mm-hmm. for other gigs mm-hmm. you cannot there should be a point you should stand on stage for like 30 to one hour mm-hmm. performing your song mm-hmm. you know so you need that you know i know the thing me to you know get her you know push her to it you know to release this yeah push her to so, it but i think i think i think i now see she's about to do more yeah um if you have been following brand fantana you know that over the years she's also gone through some one or two issues here and there with her former label yeah. so maybe now she's settled and she's gone out of all those things the road is now clear for her yeah yeah and we i'm need, expecting more we need the fire she has the artistic looks mm-hmm. she has the voice mm-hmm. now what she needs is the work Okay, I will get there. Thank you. And then Mesa, chat to me. Kofi Asamoa, continue for me. Yo, that's a me. Me chia ubi abio. Fantana, who in the cap? Who say? And some na a crew program of Abasu. Bata kaso kaso. And some na who share the kubiti kaya the whole drufa. And the other them kaya unu ni rasi. <laughs> but what, what were you expecting her to do? I said, I'm really being like, she can't be bothered. <laughs> At all. Like, but what, what were you expecting her to do? She said, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. I don't want to agree. Oh, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, because no, that is not true. Oh, yeah, no, that is not true. Don't you do music? Doesn't music make you happy? Yeah, it makes me happy. No, 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 wait, 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 wait. No, 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 wait, wait, Kofi, wait. Let, let's put it right. Because you started in three, maybe she missed some point. Yeah, make now, now, Fantana, this is what he is no, saying. Let me say it myself. Uh-huh. <laughs> say it in English, don't say it in three. She, she's doing music for fun to keep her happy. And not as a profession. <laughs> wait. She's doing it not as busy, but she's doing it for fun because it also makes her happy. True or false? A- and other profession yes 
Yeah, profession. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <laughs> And as a profession. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Free spirited. What's the name of 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 the she the name of the name of the name of Covid now can I speak English? Yeah. No, no. I, w- I want her to understand everything you are saying, so she has a response. But she understand, don't you understand? No, no. But she might some not get some of them. Yeah. 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 I'm saying, uh-huh. I'm saying that uh-huh. you are very free spirited. You like to say and tell your mind, and be very expressive. Yeah. And looking at you, judging from <coughs> afar, it will be very difficult working with you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You are, you are the type. That will be difficult working with. Because we want to say, okay, say, no dollar. I say, one year, because he's made up her mind, say, man, it's a title. No? Mm-hmm. She doesn't care about the economic implications. She doesn't care about the business implications. She doesn't care about the creative connotations. She doesn't. Uh, okay, yeah. one thing. I say, one new time, I'm going to call it. But, and it's not like the Abba out no, was not a hit, it was a super big hit. One of them, and from you, American, American speaking, <laughs> say this song to us, I'm not changing it. It's fine. <laughs> Mommy, no, we using no dollar. No. It's fine. So all to us can do is, you know what? It's fine. Since that's what you want, it's fine. Good. Now let's go. <laughs> no, that's not what he does. <laughs> I mean, I love, I love you. So, so. I'm not saying it as a fact. Okay. And I'm saying this to make a point to say, mm-hmm. in as much as I don't work with you, and I don't know how working with you even would be like. I'm, everything I'm saying is, uh, I'm, I'm making assuming, yeah. an assumption based on mm-hmm. interacting with you now. Inference, yeah. Yes. Mm-hmm. And so what I'm saying is sometimes. You need to let your own self go and keep the interest of the people for whom you are making the music at that. Mm-hmm. Sometimes there are certain things your management will tell you <coughs> you don't have to understand. Sometimes the reason you don't have to understand is you have to learn to trust the decisions of management. They are there for a reason. There are certain things they will see, they will hear. You made a point, say, um, uh, I don't know who, who asked. Mm-hmm. Um, you say uh, you know people can't confront you. Yeah, they won't yeah, confront you, I but they will that confront that. Michael Turas. Mm-hmm. They won't confront you, but they confront this young man mm-hmm. you worked in with. Mm-hmm. They won't confront you, but they will confront the people around you. Mm-hmm. And so when these people around you are telling you certain things, you have to know that they have basis. Mm-hmm. Maybe they will not be able to explain or express the kind of feedback they get, they get. to you. Mm-hmm. But indeed, it is very important. Because you see, the way you are, especially when you are you, a mama who working with you will not be the same as working with every other person. And so even before I move to your music, I just want you to see your management as your bosses. Not you being the boss. <laughs> the moment that comes in, two hours will not last working with you. Mm-hmm. All the people around you will leave. Mm-hmm. And when you f- begin to feel that, oh no, this is what I want, and you know, well, this is what I got to do, yeah. and this is how I want it. No, 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 no. Yeah. Sometimes they have to push you to move out of your comfort zone. And consistency in your music uh, career, you know, you're, you're a growing brand. And for a growing brand like you, you are not at your peak yet. I don't think you are even anywhere close to it because looking at you, you have a lot more. The kind of energy in you, it's almost like you are getting started. And yeah. that is how you should see it. Mm-hmm. And getting started means you need to do a lot more work. Fortunately for you, you have a very solid foundation. You came into the limelight uh, like almost 
already noticed because mm. of mm. how you came on mm. uh, rough town records mm. 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 it's one more underground and che, still now only semi underground but mm. one more one check mm-hmm. do you understand that part <laughs> <laughs> one more one check command one check mm-hmm. and then because you can't have class with you come there come there you can't have class with you today you say you move here for nipa no let me say it is easy let me say it in english what i'm saying is because there's small money because there's small money in the house mm. it is easy for you not to re- re- you say you tell me what kind of reference what kind of reference is uh, a hash uh-huh. i said i'm very respectful <laughs> 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 i'm very respectful which is why probably like you said means maybe uh, people it will be difficult for Mary. no i meant like people mm. but okay. not, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm, okay. I'm coachable okay. i listen i don't talk happy, happy, really happy and i take mm. my career okay. serious okay that's good but please as for the music i don't want to tell this to us or to tell it to you be consistent give us back to back you see this thing of music eh, waiting three months or eight months to drop a song doesn't mean it's going to be a hit oh don't ever think that oh when when they miss you and you drop a song and then okay no it wasn't by choice it was i had to no i know i'm just making a, things, yeah. a point for the future oh, okay. that so if you can release even the song weekly by weekly monthly every two months every three months to cry now there's this song that we will need now you don't expect or you have least confidence in that is the song that is going to blow mm-hmm. and it is good because what will be say how you sustain your fan base fan base you know, and, you know, and if the man stage and you sing two songs four songs you are done if i'm a promoter or i'm a, an event organizer i will keep you but, but, last but, but, on, on my list most most shows are like that unless it is your own show if it is a show that you've been booked to perform you cannot perform 10 songs yeah but what i'm saying even if you are performing two songs it has to be a song that is there and before you can get a song that is there, means you have like a chunk to choose from. Mm-hmm. It is a mere event promoter, Mefro, but you'll be last on my list. Mm-hmm. Okay, before I say, Menya, we are Mefro Fantan, Menya, we are Menya, we are Menya, we are Menya, we as much as you can, put more energy, mm-hmm. do as many songs. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know whether, like I said, to tell Michael this. Mm-hmm. They, they are all listening, they are all listening. If it's twice a month, number one is here. Maninda, I know that every time. All right, thank you so much, Kofi Asamoa. Now let me move on to Nana Yaredu finally before we run away from here. Yes, Nana, um, question contribution to Fantana. Let me listen to what you have for her as well. Yes, yes, I mean, uh, but yeah, be fat. Uh-huh. Okay, so me, my two cents, right? Mm-hmm. I think that people, or uh, yeah, people like Fantana mm-hmm. who come into the industry or music space free with free spirit mm-hmm. free mind mm-hmm. and they learn on the job when they settle you can't beat them mm-hmm. when they understand the art you can't touch them because like if we to be a kakra with you one so for you from afar it's like a working journey for you it's like oh she has no confidence oh she doesn't know her key oh she doesn't do this she doesn't know she doesn't know that when she gets to know all these things and she settles you can't touch her mm-hmm. do you see how she sounds on the dance addiction mm-hmm. 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 let's be honest here yeah if you don't know fantana if you if 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 you black her out right now and you play this record mm-hmm. to anybody it will be hard for the person to tell say oh this is a new girl yeah yeah and in fact this song she really went hard <laughs> i've listened to the song critically yeah. and i think she went hard see, on the song i fear people in the arts who don't who come into the space with zero knowledge i fear them all like us you are stuck in the, the same ideas and you keep revolving around it and around it and around it and around it and around it for her she's free spirited she's coming to learn she's seeing all your mistakes you are laughing at her you are saying all oh, this all oh, that all oh, that so she's going to go back and be Taking on on it and me learning, and for people like that, they don't come and tell that oh, Miss, yeah, I didn't know. You see, when you asked her about performance, she said, Oh, I mark myself. You think it was somebody marking, she, she, she will tell you, Put the stage there and see something. So, when when they settle, they are very dangerous. And when it comes to the, the songs, right? I noticed that artists like that they begin to find their niche, even, even though they're not the ones writing. So, when you write a song for her, she must first of all like it before she she will sing it mm-hmm. unlike the others who are in the game where 
they're not for like him, but you go fit singer make you like him. Mm. And that's where the, the difference is. Mm. Because she for like him first. If she likes the song that you're singing to her, she's now the end user. Mm. So if she likes it and she's singing it, the other end user into a certain because they are, they are lost like her in the system. Mm. Mm. You understand? Mm. I get it. I feel like we have to give her the chance to go through the process to make the little little error and she's working with um and the best people i know like mm. not because they are here mm. but zeda and tours they, they, they know all the loopholes yeah especially tours mm. you know like very dangerous pain person mm. that people don't know mm. Mm. i know yeah so if you are if 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 you think when, that oh when i was a big artist in Nkoko, he was <laughs> he was now coming up yeah uh, he was now learning how to rap sometimes i had to write write some of her rap when his rap for him i was a big star big star <laughs> yeah I, i've written i've written songs for two hours before you guys <laughs> <know>. <laughs> <laughs> so in 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 wrapping up right i wish i am happy, i'm happy that she's back um, like she said, the industry became a big slow, not because we wanted it to be slow, because of COVID. But you're finding your way, you know, we are all back into the game. Mm. And as she's back, the other female artists should, should be ready because the competition is, I know for sure that this, this is not the, the first song, mm. one and only, ah, uh, Ebeva. Yeah. yeah. So what Kofi Asama was saying about consistency, he should get ready for us because it's, it's, okay. it's going to come. Okay. And it might not be a profession it might be for fun for now mm-hmm. until a break comes mm-hmm. and when a break comes mm-hmm. you realize that the almost man for fun when they tell you what they want do first of all she doesn't really need you mm-hmm. two she's hustling her way to get a hit song mm-hmm. three she's not come to understand the art you can't touch those people okay thank you so much nana already well delivered now uh Fatana, let, let's settle this let's settle this this music as a hobby music as a profession i'm still giving you the chance to clear the space what are you saying there <laughs> uh i'm doing music as a profession but i feel like maybe the way that i am or the way that my personality is people will see it like maybe i'm doing it for fun or i'm doing it because i'm bored mm-hmm. but that's just how i am i'm very bubbly and stuff so even when i look like i'm not serious that's actually when i'm the most yeah. serious and with yeah. me you'll never know when i'm serious or not serious mm. i just mm. do like i just do it like mm. man, yeah mm. now w- when an artist releases a song i get <clears throat> to see some one or two people supporting mm-hmm. in your case it's been a long while you released the song this little test release are you seeing support from the female artists around yeah um all of them posted it wow uh, yeah sister fia fia um even uh sorry other one uh there was a lot of them they all reposted it even some of the male guys reposted it too mm-hmm. and um they were actually excited they really liked what i was doing mm-hmm. yeah did you also do it for others uh, do you also share some songs from other artists yeah i do <laughs> you said it's mine yes, right now i do <laughs> so when was the last time you shared someone's work uh, um, uh kitty oh okay which which of his songs uh, spiritual the one that you did with pat oh and, uh, okay you shared that you were uh, you were snapping with it or you shared it which one i was snapping with it <laughs> <laughs> but that's sharing it because well, well, yes. it, is, it is it is it is that is very true now <laughs> let, let's come to the production were you uh, this is your first time working with master gazi i guess um we i have a lot of songs with him so i've been working with him from time but mm-hmm. this is the first no actually backstabbers was produced by garzi okay yeah so okay. no darling is my second song that mm-hmm. is out by mm-hmm. him yeah i'm um, comparing him to maybe other producers we've worked we've worked with how is it like in terms of um cooperation in the studio because i think i watched one of your videos yeah. when tours and he, him you guys were in the, st- in the studio H- how was it like um i have a relationship with him like a brother he's like a brother to me and um yeah he understands like how i am and everything so in the studio he knows like okay when to push me and then when to also give me a break with two rats as well so mm-hmm. we work together really easily mm-hmm. and um he's good at like getting my voice like how it's supposed to be and mm-hmm. mastering everything mm-hmm. so he's mm-hmm. really really good mm-hmm. yeah did you have a, a song with a featured artist yet yeah chateau mm-hmm. 
a song that you've released no it's it's actually my next song oh okay yeah. so your next song will be featuring shatawali yeah apart from shatawali you don't have any song out with any artist on no i have some recorded but they're not out yet or maybe i have some that i'm planning to put Mm. But is it a strategy that you do everything on your own so you register the brand before any other person comes to support you on a song um not really but i just preferred to like now that i'm starting all over again basically i just want everybody to know what my brand is and what i stand for and then i could carry on so then it's not like okay who is fantana or like what genre is she or what is she doing yeah mm, so you want to register the yeah. brand first before so after Sh- uh, shatawale do you have other names that you can give us hints of um that i want to put on mm-hmm. um i really like sark i do and um uh stone boy as well yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. so are there plans to get all these people yeah and then i did it backstabber with uh was with la russo yeah, yeah he's yeah. dancer as well mm-hmm, yeah mm-hmm, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah la russo is a young guy coming yeah. up as well and i know that very soon you get to the top guys yeah. so that you yeah. can kill it yeah. with them because yeah. it is them that you need when you get maybe one of them on a, mm-hmm. on a joint we are good to go and um maybe this will be my final question and did you lose some fans or did you feel you you lost some fans when you left rec- uh, rough town record label no i feel like i have even more now how do you do that calculation um i don't know i just feel that even from like social media and stuff um i actually take time and read through all my like most of my messages and stuff Mm -hmm. yeah yeah, yeah. and um i don't feel like i lost anything i feel like the people who genuinely supported me when i was on rough town will always support me no matter where i'm going because yeah you're supporting i I asked because rough town introduced you yeah and you left them not in a cool (laughs) manner you you guys left with a little bit struggles and misunderstanding here and there and i don't know whether out of that some people also got mad at you and they left supporting you oh no that's not the case but i'm sure like um people would prefer that you know it wasn't as aggressive as it was but everything like we're all i'm cool now everybody is cool mm, now. Yeah, i see yeah. good are we ready for performances is fantana ready or you are still polishing the act before you hit the stage finally i'm ready i'm serious you are ready <laughs> so the promoters should start coming <laughs> yeah they could come now all right talk to the fans <laughs> finally let's run away from here uh to my fantan army thank you for supporting me and you can follow me on all my social media networks at i am fantana mm-hmm. and um my youtube is just fantana as well yeah it's it's rather a new channel yeah so fantana you guys should just go there subscribe because i know more works are coming yeah me i know i've heard everything more <laughs> works are coming yes mr j so uh, my happy birthday to uh mr bola ray yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, I know. Today uh, happy birthday in advance I have, some good, I have some good people celebrating their mm. birthdays today oh, i think i have to mention them i'm not i'm not very good at that but i have to uh, today is patapa's birthday as well first match yeah oh, i see because i i got i got information around 12. oh yeah nice. and happy, so, happy happy uh birthday to yeah so Pata, Pata mm. today is his birthday and ad- advice wishes yourself to uh yeah we are in the month of mm. march which is my birth mm. month mm. yeah so very mm. soon we'll be celebrating her and i also have another lady uh stella 500 stella 500 i hear she is also celebrating her birthday today she's a member of sami flex nation I'm sure. yeah she's also celebrating her birthday and uh Parkourich also sent me um let me get this cleared 